Why hello there anxious cynic back again continuing our beginner's guide series in Minimator. And in this part we're going to discuss how to use particles for your animation. So we're going to show a couple little default ways here and actually have a custom particles tutorial on the channel that's a little bit older. But uh, for now we're just going to show you the basics of it and if you want to know more then you can go look up that dang old tutorial like I said. Anyway, so uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna get a, a creeper in here. I should have this set up already, but you know, it is what it is. We're just gonna put a creeper in here and I'm gonna show you guys a couple of examples of what you can do here. Let's just say uh, the creeper is just sitting over here in the beginning, like so, and everything's good and well. So, and we've got a couple of things here that we're gonna use, which is a torch and the creeper. So let's go ahead and go to the crafting bench. There's my taskbar, of course. Uh, here is the particle spawner option, and then you have all these defaults. Now you can customize these and do all kinds of things that you wanna do with them, but for now, we're just gonna use a couple of these uh, little defaults that come within Minimator as it is. So I feel like the lo-fi fire is probably gonna be good for our purposes. So I'm gonna go ahead and spawn that in. We've got this one, we can rename it. I'm just gonna call it Torch Particles. So uh, let's go ahead and do that and we can bring down the, the graphics tab because that's all put up by default. And then you'll see here when we have the particles selected here, I'm gonna go ahead and drop a keyframe right there. And uh, we have this particles drop down and you have spawn particles, freeze particles, clear particles, custom seed. So just to get off with the basics here, let's go ahead and turn on the particles in our view. If you're not sure what this stuff is, I recommend watching the series from the beginning if you're just now joining us. And uh, there, now we can see the particles and we're good to go. And I can toggle the spawn particles off and then if I create a new particle over here, or I mean a new particle, a new keyframe, I can say particle spawn here. So what we can do is have a particle spawn into the scene right when we want it to. This is actually a new feature in the 1.1.0 update that allows you to do this. Uh, you normally couldn't do it before. But as you can see here, you have all these other options. And as you can see there, it begins to, uh, to work there. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that and make it so it spawns particles from the beginning because we don't really need it to do anything else. And I'm just gonna go ahead and parent this to our torch. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna drop down Steve, torch, and as you can see it disappeared because the position became relative. If you watch our parenting tutorial, then you'll know why that is. We're just gonna go ahead and click, right click on these to reset that position. And then now it's right there and it's set up and we're just gonna bring it up to the top of our torch there and that looks pretty good to me and as you can see let's go ahead and grab Steve's arm here we're just gonna highlight all these keyframes just so this applies to all of them and I'm just gonna kind of do like that so Steve is walking with his dangle torch now obviously you probably wouldn't want his arm swinging that much but this is just from the walk cycle that we've been using all right so we've got the particle system in there it seems to be working okay but i feel like this smoke is a little bit big so we're going to do a little foray into the particle editor so i'm going to go into the library you have the particle creator here and we have open editor so if i click that this is going to bring up a new menu which is telling us what the particle is designed to do so you have all of these options here once again i have an older tutorial that covers this and everything in depth we're just going to focus on the basic here and I'll try to link that at the end in the end card things if you guys want to go and check that out but uh, what I want to do is go to the smoke particle you can see we have two different particles here I'm gonna to go to smoke and I feel like it's just a bit too big so right now it's set to go between 0.5 to a 1 like basically the default scale size uh, by default so what I want to do is make it so it's a little bit smaller maybe we'll have it go like 0.5 on here and as you'll see there, it just kind of stays that size. So maybe instead of one, we'll go 0.75. So now when it spawns, it'll be between half the size of normal and basically three quarters the size of normal. And that's how we can adjust the scale of that. Uh, like I said, this is a preset for particles. So this is why it's all set up like this but you can spawn in the default one that doesn't have any of these things set up already. So anyway, that's one way you would do it. Another thing you might would want to consider Let's go ahead into the background here. We're just going to turn it to darkness and we're going to select our uh, torch there. If I can click on it properly, everything else is going to select. Okay, that makes sense. Hang on. Okay, so I've turned our light off and we're going to go ahead and turn on rendering so you can see better what's going on here. So with the rendering on, you can see that the torch is now like super bright. So uh, I can actually bring this up to 100% and that makes it brighter and default zero. And I think this is because if you remember from the first 
episode we covered the interface this is technically supposed to be a bright block so it comes in with some brightness already applied to it because a torch is not supposed to be dark unless it's not actually lit so anyway you can adjust the brightness here to make it brighter if you want to things like that there are more advanced things you can do but that's pretty much the basics there all right so that's pretty much how you would do a torch now what if you wanted to have a creeper explode well let's go ahead and spawn in a new particle emitter and we're just going to come down here you have grass explosion we can do that one and you have just a default explosion like that one doesn't really matter what you want to do but we'll just go ahead and go with the grass explosion for this example i'm going to create that we don't have to parent these to the uh, objects or the characters here we can just leave it unparented if we want to i'll just go ahead and bring this up like so we're just going to bring it up on the creeper we already had him uh, selected previously so this is why it spawned in right here on him Anyway, so what we're going to do is basically when you set a keyframe, this is when the creeper or the particle on the creeper here will explode technically. So if we go ahead and back this up, we watch this, boom, the creeper explodes and uh, there you go. You'll notice that our grass blocks are going down there into the ground. So what we want to do is go back over here. We have our new particle creator here. We're going to go ahead and open the editor. And this one has the ground Z bounding box. You'll see here bounding box is set to ground. You can set it to none. And you'll see that those just fell down over there. Let's put it back on ground. And it just popped them back up and uh because they're not despawning basically so anyway what we can do is the ground z is set to zero and uh, we're not at zero because we have the scenery so i can bring this up and you'll see that it comes up with it and we can just keep going until we get where we want to so the issue we have here is we can only set one z so we're on two different planes here and that means it's gonna sink through one of them or float above the other whoops wrong thing there and if i bring it up to be on the level where the creeper is then it'll just be floating over here if i bring it down so it on this one then it'll be going through the ground here but i feel like this is probably a better option here and we'll just go with that i don't know why that one's floating but anyway so uh we can go over here to clear the particles we can manually spawn the particles just to see what it looks like wherever we are all that good stuff and i think this actually probably needs to be brought down here we go we'll make it about 84. all right so basically what we have there is at that point and we can actually let's go over here to uh clear the particles out we can we can tell them to despawn basically uh we'll do at a time after spawn so let's just do like two seconds there with that ticked and then you have steve walking over he's got his torch in his hand we got particles coming off of the torch creeper comes up here blows up and then there you see the uh the things actually despawn there pretty had pretty much too soon let's go ahead and make that a little bit longer so they blow up grass blocks are everywhere we could of course change the scale of those grass blocks just the same way we did the smoke on the torch and things like that and that's pretty much what you would do and uh for a couple little final touches here just to go over some things about how you would actually make a creeper explode then uh, let's just say here this is where he's going to explode we're going to put a keyframe there for the creeper let me go ahead and close this we're going to go down here and say invisible at that point. And so when it blows up, boom, the creeper is gone and the explosion happens. You can also go over here. Let's go ahead and just place a couple of keyframes. We're going to take this. We'll do just a few different keyframes here. Let's go ahead and drag this one back. And what, this is going to look a little rough, but we're just going to go to the mix color here. I'm going to set it to white like so. And then at this one, we're going to have him go to say 35%. And then here he'll go down to say, uh, you know, 10%. And then this one, he'll go back up to say 45%. And oh, we have the uh, mixed colors keyframed over time. Let's go ahead and change this one to white and just highlight all of these. And we'll just set the mixed color to white and just make sure all those are set properly because it's kind of going back and forth. All right, sorry about that. Anyway, so it goes to uh, that one and then this one and we're going to have this one go down to say 25 percent and then by this one we're going to have it go like way up to say 75. so what you should get here is the creeper kind of doing what they do in minecraft where they flash boom and then he blows up and he's gone so there you go that was a quick little run through there once again i have uh, more advanced tutorials on particles and stuff but this should hopefully get you started on using the presets and making little adjustments to them if you need to but uh, yeah, hopefully that was helpful, guys. Hope that gets you on your way to making cool animations with nice particle effects. If you like this video, feel free to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe to become a citizen today. Share it with your friends, your family, and your pets. 
and I'll see you guys in the next video.